What's up everyone? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video and welcome to a brand new year. Let me be the first, if not the second, in a line of people that have wished you a happy new year. Let me be among the first at least to wish you a happy new year here on YouTube. This is the start of a brand new year. To me, it feels like just any other day. Only now we got to get used to writing 2024. It took me almost a year to get used to 2023. This is the first day of January of the brand new year. Don't you feel different? You got all those New Year's revolutions. That's right. I said revolutions, not resolutions. We want to, and I say we, I mean you and me, we want to revolutionize the way people think about, in particular, men's fragrance. Because it's a growing genre every day, it's getting bigger and bigger, and I'm really happy to be a part of it and happy that you are here because today we're going to be talking about a bunch of new releases. Now it is 2024, but some of them are going to merge into 2024 and be the 2024 releases, but we are right on the precipice of several of them. We had a lot going on in today's video, so go use the bathroom, go get a snack, do whatever you need to do, but get right back here and then tune in for more coming up. Welcome back everyone. Again, happy new year. Super glad that you're here. Guys, there's a lot going on. I am right now in the process of revamping my Studio Sense logo so that it's going to be even more exciting and look even more different than it looks now. This one here is several years old and it's time for a rebrand, time for an upgrade. Not necessarily rebrand into a different name, just a different look. So I'm going to freshen it up. Also the style of my videos, the editing, thumbnails, titles, all that. I'm going to kind of sort of take a harsher look at it and see what needs to be improved. But that's neither here nor there. You're here to talk about new fragrance. What's happening in men's fragrance or what's new in men's fragrance? We've got several new releases to talk about. The very first one is a Valentino fragrance and it is in the very popular Born in Roma line and this one is called Valentino Uomo Born in Roma green extravaganza several things are super cool about this release number one it's green green is going to be awesome but it's also a coffee oriented fragrance so what's a green fragrance doing coffee oriented who knows why is something called coral fantasy an apple fragrance that's the kind of logic that valentino is using in their fragrances for men especially they're just kind of all over the board and this one is going to sort of be like that now it is available in europe right now depending upon where you're at currently don't have a north american release date but i'll keep you updated when we do uh, judging by the look of the fragrance the presentation is going to be exactly the same as the previous womo line but the really cool uh, studded bottle look that the italian designer is known for. Uh, there is a female version also coming out, Duo release. Now the new Duo release is an ode to lush and vibrant gardens of Rome that are painted in rich shades of green, where the delicate vibrancy of roses meets the opulence and captivating intensity of woods. Roses being the feminine floral, woods being the masculine woodsy. Womo born in Roma Green Extravaganza, and that is a very long name, but we're used to that with Valentino. We're just going to call it Green Extravaganza from now on, opens with a burst of tangy citrusy notes using bergamot for an energizing effect. Against this rebounding intensity, coffee begins echoing to lend a robust, interesting word for coffee, right? Robust. Echoing to lend a robust, dark yet sophisticated facet to the composition. The blend rests on a bedding of combination of spices and woods using the soft nuances of star anise and the vetiver that accentuates the male energy even further. I think the world needs more coffee-oriented fragrances for men. I'm very excited about Green Extravaganza for that reason. Again, the name is a bit off-putting. Who cares if it smells great? That's what we're looking forward to. If this one piques your interest or curiosity, keep your eyes and ears open for this new release. Next up, we have a new release by Givenchy. This one is going to be part of the Gentleman line, the new Society Pillar fragrance. It's Givenchy gentlemen society eau de parfum extreme yet another extremely long name gentlemen extreme is what we're going to be calling that now some people were disappointed aka chaos fragrance was disappointed in Givenchy gentlemen society which i completely understand that i for one though really enjoy it i think it's a, a little bit more youthful energizing take on the, the note of iris and where iris is going and so that's kind of cool it's kind of introducing iris to a new generation or a new crowd and so i think they did a fantastic job this one though even more reason to be more excited about 
Society Eau de Parfum Extreme is going to be a coffee-oriented fragrance. It seems like that's part of the trend, right? One designer does it. Valentino's coming out with a coffee-oriented Born in Roma, and now Givenchy Gentlemen's Society Extreme is going to be coffee-oriented. In terms of the presentation, looks exactly the same. In terms of the notes, so far all we know is that Society Extreme has a dark coffee accord. It has a combination of floral notes, woody notes, and spicy notes. Now that's kind of blasé and very generic, but the one note that we know that isn't super generic is the dark coffee accord. And I'm hoping they're sort of purging the whole iris direction a bit, at least for this flanker. I would love to see it just really dark coffee with just a hint of iris. This is what they say about it in the marketing material. It says the bold new signature for men who make their own rules. Givenchy invites the most unstoppable gentlemen to join the most iconic society. A dark iced coffee accord pushes this powerful woody floral and spicy scent to sensation limits for the most extreme eau de parfum. If you like Givenchy and if you like the Gentleman's Society line, the new flagship fragrance, keep your eye open for the first flanker coming up. I don't have a launch date on that one, but I know it's going to be really soon. All the ones that we're talking about today are designer fragrances. So they've been really busy behind the curtains of the designer genre. For those of you that are fans of Jean-Paul Gaultier as a designer, and in particular the Le Beau line of fragrances, there's going to be a new edition, a new flanker coming out very soon. It is called Le Beau Paradise Garden. It seems that, with the exception of Givenchy, green is the theme. So the next flanker that we're talking about is green, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Paradise Garden. It's going to be a green fragrance featuring top notes of coconut, ginger, and mint, a heart note of green fig, and base notes of sandalwood and tonka bean. Just like the name implies Paradise Garden, it's going to be more of a tropical feel. Now, Le Beau always has been a tropical feel. We've got Le Beau, the original, Le Beau, the EDP, and now Paradise Ice Garden. I think with the new year, they're picking up and being a bit more creative than just following the trend of the Elixir or the Le Parfum. The press junket states, inspired by the 2010-2011 Autumn Winter Show, this luxuriant garden is a paradise for the all-consuming pleasures and passions of Le Beau Paradise Garden and La Belle Paradise. Emerald green glass embroidered with a flamboyant vine leaf featuring colorful couture details, who could resist this naked bottle? Let yourself be captivated. The tropical radiance of a couture embroidered vine leaf conceals the secret garden inhabited by this naked emerald green bottle. An unbeatable force of attraction plunges you into this hypnotic, sensual, masculine fragrance that is as elusive as it is irresistible. That doesn't really give us a lot of information as to what it's going to smell like, but that is kind of a, a neat upgrade you could say to the JPG male torso is that instead of a vine leaf that's been painted gold or is just your standard glass, it's an embroidered vine leaf, uh, which gives it a bit more of an exotic look or feel to it. Fans of Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau, be on the lookout for Le Beau Paradise Garden. Don't have a date on North American release of this one, but again, like the others, very soon likely. This next new release I want to talk about, my heart skipped a beat when I read that it was coming out because I am a fan of Narciso Rodriguez and in particular the For Him line of fragrances. And this new release is For Him Vetiver Musk. So for anyone that enjoys a good vetiver fragrance that is already enjoying the For Him line, you definitely want to get in line for this new release. Vetiver Musk Eau de Toilette marks a new phase for the For Him line. Matilda Bijoui, the nose behind the new fragrance, assured that what makes this flanker stand out the most is the use of mineral elements, along with vibrant aromatics, to grant this blend a much leveled up refinement and sophistication. So Narciso Rodriguez is leveling up. Vetiver Musk starts off utterly spicy and green, using spicy yet cold cardamom, warm nutmeg and cypress for an energizing and masculine vibe. The concoction further deepens as the signature heart of musk radiates through other co-players, red algae that almost gives off leathery and mineral vibes, a rosy green aromatic undertone represented by geranium bourbon, bourbon geranium, and fresh lavender. The heart retreats to allow room for a solid base of earthy patchouli, warm cedarwood, and a rich vetiver that adds a pungent masculine scent trail, which accentuates the multifaceted masculinity of the modern man. So for those of you that wear many hats or have many faces, vetiver musk for him, Vetiver Musk, is going to be a must to own in 2024. So I'm excited about this new release, guys. I feel like it's going to be a fantastic blend. Matilda Bijoui is one of my favorite female fragrance perfumers for men's fragrance that, that creates awesome 
masculine fragrances. It says a new flanker will be available in stores starting January 22nd. So the 22nd of this month, be available in two sizes, 50 mil and 100 mil. Not surprising, the scent line by Hugo Boss is adding a new, perhaps final, flanker to the line, and it is the scent Elixir. You guessed it, a brand new Elixir. I actually am looking forward to this one because it's one of the few lines that makes use of the amazing note of Meninka fruit. It's said to be an ambery and leathery fragrance that, just like its feminine counterpart, offers a stronger and richer take on the original formula. As much as fans were content with the original boss, the scent, the brand wanted to take it up a notch and release the most intense version they could concoct. The elixir has top notes of spicy red pepper, resulting in a spicy and explosive opening. The heart is vibrant and lively, thanks to Lavendin Absolute, it's just a more camphorous lavender, which will immediately captivate men with its energy. Finally, the refined blend rests on a soft and woody base of rich Caledonian sandalwood. That's gonna be one for the books too, because I am a big fan of Hugo Boss, the scent. The flankers are really solid, the scent being perhaps the weakest of them all, the original. This is supposed to be the most intense version and that one is definitely going to be one you want to keep your eyes and ears and nose peeled for. How do you peel your nose? I've often wondered how you peel your eyes, but let's not peel anything, but let's just be patient and wait for these amazing releases. The last fragrance that we're going to take a look at is one that we've seen a plethora of releases. None of them have been magical, but several have been really good, really solid, and this may be one of them. It's Calvin Klein, and yes, it's their Eternity line. This one is going to be Calvin Klein Eternity Aromatic Essence. Anytime I hear that word, I think the, of just a bunch of spices. It's going to be an aromatic woody fragrance. That's the classification with top notes of juniper berries, lemon, Szechuan pepper, followed by heart notes of coconut and lavender with base notes of cardamom, patchouli, and Virginia cedar. Sounds a little bit more tropical, kind of like a discount Lebo or a discount Lebo Paradise Garden. The color from our basic RGB color wheel today that is winning out is the color green. Aromatic Essence is also going to be kind of a green or blue green or seafoam green color and the fragrance is going to be a bit more on the tropical side. So for those of you that enjoy Eternity, be on the lookout. This of course will be released in a 50 mil and 100 mil version. The seventh and final fragrance for this edition of What's Happening in Men's Fragrance is one that I don't have a lot of information about. However, it is going from being in the rumor mill to being a substantiated announcement, and that is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal Absolute, or perhaps Scandal Pour Homme Absolute. Don't 100% know the full name, don't have a note breakdown. I think there are only a couple or perhaps more by now Instagram mentions of the fragrance, and there's a photo and this is the photo, of course. So we know it is going to be Scandal Absolute, some form of Absolute. I think Scandal, both editions, the EDT and Le Parfum, is a great sexy gourmand fragrance for men and can't wait for this new edition. Well guys, that's it for the new releases. Some exciting ones that we've talked about. There are seven of them. What I would like for you to do now is take a quick moment and tell me which one that you are looking forward to most. Um, I'm looking forward to anything that has coffee in it. I'm like, yay, please give us more coffee oriented fragrances. We definitely need those. Anything that's gonna be more gourmand, spicy, aromatic, and the, the elixir. The Hugo Boss Ascent Elixir is definitely going to be thumbs up in my book, hopefully. So tell me which ones that you're looking forward to most being released, or or your one. If, if there's only one, tell me one. If there's two or three, share those comments so that we can all enjoy. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. I truly appreciate you stopping by, and I hope that you have an amazing first month out of the brand new 2024, this brand new year, and you have a great new year, and that all of the resolutions that you have made, you will accomplish 100% without fail. Thanks so much again for your continued support here on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video review.